Hello everyone and welcome to Tabor Talk. So I won't be doing many of these outside. Uh, it's 28 degrees in the Catskills. Good. We got some snow. It's bright out now, but wow. So we're in the Catskills plus we're elevated. We live on on a on a mountain. Uh, you know, we have a cabin here. We're elevated. The town we live in is elevated to begin with and then we're higher up. So it's always much colder here than really in the rest of uh, the state. Okay. So um, getting right into this, tomorrow, the national nightmare comes to a close. Tomorrow is election day. Many people have voted early. Madeline and I voted last week. And you know what's interesting? You know, you're listening to these rallies, just absolute madness. I don't bother anymore. I've never listened to a whole thing. I can't stand the guy the minute he opens his mouth, but just nothing but lies and slurring. Always like the best economy ever. Dude, you're, are you kidding me? Take a look at just the last three years. Compare the numbers. If you all you give a shit is about the economy, right? Compare the last three years of the Obama administration with the four years of Trump or, or even before, let's say the three years of Trump before uh, before COVID. Obama created more jobs than Trump. So everything about this fucking guy is a lie. The guy has done absolutely nothing. He's a disgrace. The worst president in the history of the country. Not even close. A fucking joke. I'm going to play a little clip of Obama from a couple of days ago. Just pointing this out. And then I'll come back for a minute. Here we go. I'm not going to download it. It's freezing. It's silly. It's only a few seconds anyway. A minute. Here we go. Here we go. Yesterday, Barack Obama was in Orlando, Florida for Joe Biden. Orlando, and again, Florida. just hammering Trump in exactly the way that most gets to Trump I'll and Trump's here. insecurities. I really think Obama is going to make Trump explode by election day at this rate. Check this out. Here is Barack Obama going right after Trump on something Trump is very insecure about, which is the size of Trump's crowds. Yeah, he's still concerned about that. So meaningless, but it just goes to Torn the heart of cares about the crops. narcissism. Any interest in doing the work? Or helping anybody but himself and his friends? Or treating the presidency as anything more than a reality show? That can give him the attention that he craves, and he does crave attention. This week, it, with all, everything that's happening, you know what he brought up? He, he was fussing about the crowd size at the inauguration again. <laughs> Saying his was bigger. Hey, who, who, who is thinking about that right now? Exactly. It's fucking madness. Nobody except him. Another theme is that Trump either tries to undo what Barack Obama did or tries to take credit for it. It's yep. one or the other. Either undo it exactly. or claim that you actually did it. And again, just Barack fucking Obama madness lies. Right Bullshit. That by talking about jobs numbers, which did slow down when Donald Trump became president of the United States. That complicated. Donald Trump likes to claim he built this economy. But yeah, well, listen. I just want to remind you that America created 1.5 million more jobs in the last three years of the Obama Biden administration than in the first three years of the Trump Pence administration. That's a fact. Look it up. See, right. it is a fact. I, I mean, it's just a, a joke. And what's sad is there are, well, I'm making a rhetorical statement. There are people who still like and support him. I mean, 63 million people voted for him. I know why. I've done many videos why this happened. But there are at least 30 million retarded people. I know you're not supposed to use the R word, but stupid motherfuckers out there. Uh, okay, nice and short. It's freezing. We're in the Catskills. A little bit of snow. Very, very slippery, too. So have a great day. I'll be here tomorrow, uh, and I'll end it here. Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. Peace, love, and understanding. Sanity will be restored.